Well, the church has been one of the great um, benefactors of art, but whenever it's tried to uh, control the messages of art, then that has tended to lead to some decadent forms of it. Although, of course, artists are very good at resisting such control. But I think we've got an interesting phenomenon in our so-called secular culture now that there is an awful lot of really superb um, transcendence evoking art being done by younger artists, which touches people even in a, um, in a realm in which they are not conscious of um, actually being involved in religious institutions. So this explains something of the popular popularity, for instance, of Anthony, Anthony Gormley's sculptures, um, that there's something about the way he, as a Catholic, which most people don't know, uh, uses the human body um, or uses his great sculpture of uh, the Angel of the North, which raises their hearts to heaven, um, even as they uh, get stuck on the motorway. And uh, I think it's often the case that the artist or the poet keeps Christianity alive at times when the church is not doing well at missionary enunciation.